welcome back. This is all you ladies and men, listen up out there. There's so much information when it comes to taking care of our skin, and it can be hard to separate fake news from reliable advice. Lucky for us, Dr. Stephanie Kappel, a dermatologist from the OC, which we love, is in the house to help us tell the difference between skincare myth and medical fact. Welcome, Dr. Kappel. Stephanie. Pleasure to be here. Okay, so let's go through it. Um, let's start with the first thing. Myth or fact? Ready? Yes. Number one, yes. iPhone and computer screens can age your skin. That is a fact. That it's is a fact. Why is that a fact? It's a scary but true fact because tablets, cell phones, even our laptops emit what's called HEV light, which is high energy visible light, which can break down collagen and cause premature aging, which is scary because we didn't really have that before. And it's another thing that we have to worry about. But if we have appropriate sunscreen to protect us, we're so literally, okay. you have to wear sunscreen to protect against our phones and our screens. It seems that that's what studies are showing us now. So yes. Well, definitely. I knew that when it came down. When you put your hands in the UV light yes. to get your nails done and gel right. manicures, they said that UV light is bad for your hand of right. your skin. Right. So people put sunscreen on their hands when they get their nails definitely. done. Definitely. So yeah. So it's always a good idea to have you know broad spectrum sunscreen that can protect you against all UV light forms, especially from cell phones. If we're having it you know on our face all day or tablets or we're, you know interface you know interface with our computers, we have to just be careful to protect from that type of visible light as well. So best to wear like ear, you know, it's always headphones. Better. Always better. Um, okay, so next up. So that is <laughs> fact that hurts you. Fact number, number two, one. SPF is the most important factor when buying sunscreen. That is a myth. I thought the bigger the sunscreen, yeah. like 75, 90, they have 100. Right. I thought right. that was the best thing to look for. Definitely. And so people, it is a misconception. So SPF basically pertains to the UVB rays, which is important because those are the rays that cause skin cancer. Okay. But the sun rays that photo age us and cause brown spots and breakdown of collagen and fine lines and wrinkles is actually UVA, and SPF has nothing to do with UVA. So what do we look for in our sunscreens? So you want to get a broad spectrum sunscreen. So anything that has uh, zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, those actually are physical blockers and they reflect the UV light and it protects us from all the UV light forms. So even if you have SPF 100, mm -hmm. yes, it's protecting you against skin cancer, which is important, but it's not protecting you against photo aging. So photo aging, but when you look at the bottle, like let's say something right. has you know, most moisturizers have 25 right. SPF, but you want to make sure it has zinc in there because yeah. most people put sunscreen on from their um, their base of their makeup. Right. Is that good, or do you yeah. put, uh, apply additional? You want to have additional, and then maybe have some with your makeup as well. And the most important thing when you're in the store shopping for a sunscreen is just to look on the active ingredient and make sure it has zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Mm -hmm. And most dermatologists agree, eight percent or higher is what we would what we would recommend. Eight so percent or higher. Apply even if you're your base. Most moisturizer, I mean, yes. a color tinted. Moisturizers we'll have, have SPF. It. Put more on top of it. Yes. Good to know because I, I don't know, do that. I know. Oh, okay. And Number one extra step. <laughs> three. I'm going to stump you, but you know the answer to this. That's Moisturizers okay. can dehydrate your skin over time. That is true. Okay. First of all, I That's thought the better the moisturizer, I lube up my face at night. <laughs> Literally, I want it to look like it's slick and sticky right, and put right. oils on it. Right. So that's that's a misconception. So we're now going more towards hydrators that actually make the skin retain water instead of just passively putting oils on our skin that's going to temporarily feel nice, but really in the long run not really do very much. So it's important because a lot of you know skincare products can be expensive or be in a nice packaging and a nice container and smell nice, and when you put them on your skin, it feels good, but it's not really doing anything. It's not making your skin retain water. So we like hydrators. So moisturizers that have, um, you know, Aveeno, Neutrogena, you know, store-bought or even the higher end, you know, um, Daily Power Defense, um, you know, there's different um, hydrators that have uh, water as their active ingredient listed first, and that's the most important because you don't want a passive oil just to kind of make your skin temporarily feel nice, but not really do anything in the long run. So once again, you look at the packaging, look for water as one of the top ingredients yes. and hydrator inside the thing. Okay, the last yes. thing is men receive more than 10% of Botox injections. That is true. That's a fact. You're kidding me. Yes. Where are they getting Botox? Yes. I knew about the underarms yes. were sweating. Where are men going for the Botox? And we call it Brotox when Brotox. it's men. Brotox, which I'm not <laughs> shaming. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. So okay. yeah, more and more men are seeking aesthetic procedures. You know, now in the age of like selfies and you know self portrayal, they're getting manis, pedis, threading the eyebrows, and Botox. You know, more men are having these procedures done, right. and you know, it's 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 a great new market that, that okay. we're that we're coming in with. Dr. Kaplan, I'm not going to put so much moisturizer on my face. I'm going to look for water <laughs> and drink a lot of water. You can find more skincare myths 
and facts on our website, foxila.com. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you or doctor, I like to say. You've earned that title. Thank you. All right, Tony, what's coming up? Uh, we'll be right back. By the way, for the record, no Botox or Brotox here. <laughs> You're all original. Okay. You're perfect.